Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Swedish Railways SJ AB7 first and second class carriage. So these are rebuilt AB9s in the black color scheme, and this is what you can use along with the SJ RC6 electric locomotive tutorial that I've done before. So this these two guys are going to be paired up together, and uh, this is actually part of a commission by the suite, so thanks to him for making this video possible. And let's get started on the Swedish carriage. So first off, we'll grab some materials. I'll take out black concrete, polished black stone, brick, uh, slabs, walls, and stairs, as well as a gray concrete, hopper, iron trap door, dark oak trap door, uh, dark oak fence gate. Now, okay. Alright, so first we're going to make this gangway area, so we'll take out a dark oak fence gate. And we will place that two blocks above the tracks. And we'll add another one down diagonally, and we'll open both of them up. Then behind we'll add two blocks wide, black concrete. And we we're going to make it so it's going to be 25 blocks. And then we're going to make it 7 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, like that. Then we'll add a polished blackstone brick wall to the side. Black concrete, two blocks tall on top. And then a blackstone wall on top. And then a blackstone brick slab, like that. In the middle, we'll add two blocks wide, black concrete. We'll make a line of black concrete on the side. And then on top, we'll add in a black stone wall and then another brick wall. Um, so another brick wall in the middle and black stone walls on top and the bottom. An oak trap door at the bottom and we'll close that up. And we'll add in black stone brick walls three blocks tall here. Black stone brick slab at the top <clears throat> and one at the bottom here. Then we'll add in yellow glass pane, a redstone torch, so redstone torch here, yellow glass panes in the corners. An oak fence gate at the bottom, open that up. A dark oak trap door here. And then an iron trap door next to it. Then we'll add in a black concrete, two blocks tall. Another brick wall, black concrete. And then a uh, black stone brick slab. And then we'll add black stone brick blocks, two blocks wide in the middle. Like that. Then we'll add in bedrock block. So we'll make it three blocks tall here. And uh, I guess we'll just make it a three by three. Like that. Okay, so then we'll take out a gray concrete. A black stone slab, hopper, dark oak, fence gate, and that black stone stairs. So go here, we're going to add in the wheel. So right after the iron trap door, we'll add in gray concrete. And then we'll add in three black stone brick slabs. Black stone brick slab in the middle. And dark oak fence gates on the side of this, open them up. Another wheel in the back using gray concrete and add hoppers to the sides like that and the inside of this will add in a row of black stone brick slabs go back on the outside we'll add in a black stone brick stairs uh, upside down so it's facing outwards right above these hoppers and then this middle slab will add another one so it's facing towards the end like that okay then I want to take out uh, these blackstone, polished blackstone brick slabs. So we're going to make this segment so it is, uh, I believe, 25 blocks long. So go right up here on the outer edge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, like that. All right, once we've done that, we'll just add in another line across. Um, right over here in the middle all the way across like that 
And then we'll add in um, black concrete. And we're going to make it so it's two blocks wide and seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate in the middle, open that up, and another one dangling down. So this is going to be the other end of the car. So let's go back onto this end. We're not quite finished with this. So take out a birch button and add that underneath this wall here. We'll also add in um, the banner. So go to our loom and we'll take out a black banner with white dye. Put that inside the loom. And we'll make one banner with a line on the left hand side and another on the right. So that's going to be per side. So on this side, uh, you want to make sure it's on the right side like that. So it's kind of like a white line around the door. While the other side, you're going to use uh, this banner right here. Anyways, uh, let me actually just place that to the side. All right, so next we're going to add in some windows. So add in bedrock block. And we were going to add in three blocks here and then a pillar right there. So this is going to be like a two by wide window and we'll add iron trap doors at the top and we're going to make sure we're going to have five of these so one two three four and five like that add in iron trap doors underneath and then inside we'll add in a black glass all the way across And the inside of that will add black concrete all the way across as such. Then we'll go down over here and this is going to be pretty much the middle area. So we'll add in a uh, oak button right there, a smooth quartz slab and then stairs upside down on either side. Actually just this side since we're only building this side. I have to temporarily make that a solid block. All right. So once we have this, we'll add in bedrock right behind it, two blocks wide. And we'll add in bedrock all the way across the side here. All the way back to the front. Okay, so next what we're going to do, we're going to extend this roof area. So all of this blackstone brick slab and the solid blocks is going to extend all the way to this end here. All right, so once we extend that out, we'll add in a black stone slap at the top, like that in the middle. Okay, so now what we're doing, on the, we're done with this side. We're going to copy all that we did here and build it on the other half. All right, so once we have the other half, we'll go on to the front end, make two by two black stone pressure plates, go on the other side. Add two blackstone slabs in the middle and blackstone pressure plates on the side of that. Then we'll go to this back part right after this window, punch a hole, add a yellow concrete inside of it, so that, and a blackstone brick stairs on the outside, so we have that upper yellow. Go on the other side, go in the middle of these bedrocks, add in black concrete with a birch button inside. After we have done that, that's it for this side. So we'd copy what we did on this side and build the other half. Once we have both sides of this build, we're to go onto this side and we'll add in smooth quartz slabs in between these stairs. And then on the other side, we'll add blackstone brick slabs in these stairs. And then go on the other side, we're gonna add smooth quartz slabs on the left and blackstone on the right. Then we'll move up over here to the middle, the center, go underneath here and add in black concrete. And we will add in another one to the left. And then we'll go line it up with the second window here from the middle, add black concrete, and we'll link that together like that. Add in nether brick slabs across the bottom half. So next we'll go to the second window here and we'll go down underneath, add three blocks long black stone brick, then a dark oak trap door and then two slabs of black stone brick. Then we'll go to the other side 
and we will go to this window here, uh, the third one, and we'll add in blackstone brick, two blocks wide here, and slabs underneath. Then we'll skip a block, add a blackstone brick, make it three blocks long, add a dark oak trap door, and then two slabs. Then we'll skip a block and add in three uh, blackstone brick. And blackstone brick slab here, and then two dark oak trap doors. Then two blackstone brick slabs at the bottom, and then two at the top. And then two blackstone brick blocks here, and dark oak trap doors underneath. Then we'll skip two, and then add two blackstone brick and blackstone brick slabs underneath. All right, so for the rest of the floor of this uh, carriage, we're gonna fill that in using uh, the slabs of blackstone brick. Just all the way across whatever left hole there is, we're gonna fill that in. And this is a new thing I've been doing using like a slabs for the, the floor instead of a solid block because this is actually more accurate. All right, so after I think we filled in all the holes, let me check on the side. Okay, there's one here. And there's still one here. Uh, dang, I left a lot of this open. All right, so once we've done that, that is pretty much it on how to build the Swedish Railway SJ AB7 first and second class carriage in Minecraft. Thanks to the Swede for commission is built and making this video possible. Guys, do enjoy this video. Remember, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.